Hey everybody, um, I'm back with a just a quick video. I've been kind of getting to know the system, uh, as you guys might have seen from a couple of the recent uh, videos I've put up. My main focus has been uh, just playing around in Unreal, trying to get a handle on what this system can do and how the demands of uh, the Unreal environments uh, affect the system um, in general. Um, so in Unreal, I was having a lot of trouble um, rebuilding uh, the light map. Um, basically, whenever you add or move something around, you have to, uh, as I understand it, effectively render uh, the lighting so that it can be persistent as you're playing the game, quote unquote. Um, and for whatever reason, um, I was not having success doing that. Um, the engine itself would take up all 32 threads of the uh, Threadripper processor, which is awesome. Um, unfortunately, uh, it also um, froze the system you know, hard, like hard unresponsive. Um, and I didn't quite know what to make of that. Um, it was to a point where I could just close out whatever I was working on and open um, a new project like just the super basic template for say a, a first person shooter um, with no custom geometry in it, nothing. Uh, just the basic loadout, you know, a few cubes, structures in the map to, um, to play around with, so to speak. And when I would rebuild lighting just on a, a couple of very basic shapes, uh, everything would just chug and the system would seize and it was just kind of a pain in the butt. Not kind of, it was goddamn scary. Um, so. Uh, I hit up the, the Unreal Discord, Some a couple folks were awesome, and uh, said, hey, maybe just um, open up the developer options uh, in um, the spawn, um, excuse me, the Swarm engine. Swarm is the distributed light map rendering engine that Unreal uses, and just reduce the number of local cores that you're using. So I did. I dropped it down to one, and it was super slow, but it, it succeeded, and it actually built out the, the lighting successfully. Uh, then I bounced it up to 10 and it worked. Uh, there are 32 threads in this uh, available uh, with this processor and I, I pushed the number of working local cores up to 28. Um, I'm not, I haven't maxed it again yet because I just, I'm, I'm in the middle of a work day um, and I can't afford to really just reboot and deal with a, a frozen system. Um, but uh, it's, it's up to 28 and uh, I, I did a procedural foliage generation test and just dumped a metric ton of trees as you can see in here. Um, so having all of that custom geometry it said well you need to rebuild the lighting obviously so that it works. Um, and I did. Uh, it took about 25 minutes. Um, almost every thread was was you know above 90 percent usage um, the entire time. Um, temperatures stayed well within range. I was thrilled. Uh, the water cooling is working 100%. This is, you know, one of the main tools and functions I wanted to be able to do with this system comfortably. And it just ground out the lighting render um, like it was supposed to. Like I said, it took about 20, 25 minutes, maybe more. I, I don't remember, but not much more. Um, as you can see and will see, there are a bunch of damn trees in this project. Um, and I'm just using the word project in a technical sense. I'm not using this for any actual um, project as, as you might consider it. Um, this is just a test uh, collection of files that I'm calling a project. Um, so I just wanted to kind of frame what I'm doing here and uh, in this video and now I'll shut up and, and just uh, show the, um, the quote unquote gameplay. Um, I could not be happier. This single test just completely validated every single bit of effort that went into this build. It was enormous, and this is ultimately what I was hoping that it would be able to do, and it just slayed this beast so hard. So I'll shut up now. You guys enjoy. Beware. You know, I put some music and some, some video on the footage. You might want to turn the volume down just a spot because I'm... Oh, and you'll see me geeking out too. I, I loaded this uh, test as a first-person shooter template, so I, uh, the character spawns with a gun that you can fire. So I got a little carry away. You can see me just being excited and geeking out. Anyway, um, 1950 
X Threadripper, 4 gigahertz uh, at 1.25 volts. Um, Vega Frontier Edition, which really isn't used at all in the, uh, um, well, I guess it is in the gameplay, but it wasn't taxed at all. And uh, water cooled. Temperatures were awesome. So here you go, guys. Cheers. Put on that space suit, Pokey, and come and be my co pilot. Your mom said you were running away. I'm through being a slave. I'm going to go as far from home as I can get in outer space. Where are we now? We're about 300,000 miles from Earth. See it on the rear screen? Makes me feel sort of lonely and homesick. Hey, what are those? Well, those are asteroids or small planets. There are hundreds of them. They can take one out for our new home. But I like the Earth. On Earth, everywhere you go, there's always somebody to tell you to do this and to do that. Out here on an asteroid, there's nobody to boss you around. You're free. I don't have to think this over. Get ready to land. Hey, looks like canals of Mars. They look more like railroad tracks to me. Hmm. Okay for me to come down, Gumby? Yep, all clear, Pokey. Help, Gumby, help! Run for your life! Hurry, Gumby, before a monster gets you. Hey, get off of my track! Uh, golly, I'm sorry. We don't want to hurt anything. We just ran away from home and thought maybe we could... Well, you can't. I ran away from home to get away from people like you. You are not going to play with this train because it's mine. This whole world is mine. Well, if that's the way you feel, we're sorry we wasted our time on your punk planet. If you're not off by the time I count ten, I'll blast you. One, two, three, four, five. Ready for blast off. Roger. Nine. He fired a rocket at us. Nice of that kid to give us a present to remember him by. There's another planet right ahead of us. Looks like a pink candy mint. Stand by for landing. Roger. Pokey, come on. The place is deserted. Gumby. Let's get off this planet now. I saw a horrible thing come out of that crater over there.